My name is Ega Wodum and you could go to bed with me. I mean, okay, that's a lie. You can't come to bed with me. I don't know you and you don't know me. You don't want to be in my bed. You don't know me like that. I don't know you like that. So you're going to go to your bed. I'm going to stay in my bed and everybody, everybody's going to go to bed separately, but you can get ready for bed with me. My skincare routine is so important to me because I'm just trying to get my makeup off and go to sleep. If I go to sleep with makeup on, I'm waking up with pimples immediately, first thing in the morning. So I have to get the makeup all off. It is a nice little routine for pre-bed, like a little self-care vibe popping off. But also guys, a little key here, a little trick. I take my makeup off basically as soon as I get home because if I actually wait till I'm too tired, taking the makeup off and doing the whole routine kind of wakes me up and we don't want that because we want to go to bed. It could be 4 p.m., it could be 5, 6, you know how to count, but it's just a matter of when I get home. My skin, I would say, is combination, but I feel like it has to be, from what I've read, it has to be oily and dry to be combination. And mine is really like oily and normal in some spots. So like maybe it's combination, but it's mostly oily. Yeah, it's mostly oily. I'm in denial, it's oily. I got oily skin, but they say people with oily skin will age well, so take that. First thing I do is use, this is new to me, by the way, before I tell you what it is, this is new. I used to use makeup wipes, and then I got this sample of this specific thing at Sephora. Green Clean um, Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm from Pharmacy. Oh my gosh, I'm really giving blogger vibes right now. Okay, no shade to the bloggers, um, but love and respect for y'all. Also, after I got this, I went and bought the full size, I went and bought the big boy, because that's the power of samples, and that's why they do it. That's why they do it, to convince you to buy it. And we know that, and I like to think I'm not susceptible, but I fell for it. But I like this, I really like this. I got this, and then I discovered, I, I don't know if I've been living under a rock or what, but makeup wipes are actually really bad for the environment. So, this one's for you, environment. That's why I got it. It comes with a little uh, spatula. I like this little spatula, because most days I don't cook, so this feels like a little, I'm a little chef or something. I'll take a little bit, goes a long way. Am I a blogger? I think I'm a blogger. Okay, um, but for real though, a little bit goes a long way and I take it right off the spatula and guys, this is the magic. And you just put it all over your face. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. One eye at a time, I'm still watching you. <laughs> I feel like I'd like when I was younger, I would watch scary documentaries or like, what is it? Unsolved mysteries. Then I'd have to get ready for bed and I'd be scared to wash my face because you have to close your eyes. Both of your eyes have to be closed at some point when you're washing your face. And that used to terrify me, like having to close my eyes to wash my face. This is a sign that I'm grown and I'm not scared no more. So you get it all over your face and then you're gonna rinse it off. You rinse it off and then the makeup's gonna be gone. So I'll be right back. Now we makeup free. I'm not married to any particular face wash for this step of the process, but for this next step, I use, right now, currently I'm using Olay Cleanse Gentle Foaming Cleanser. I bought this on a trip because I was out of what I normally use, which is Neutrogena's oil-free makeup remover cleanser. It comes in a blue bottle. I just work it into a nice lather in my hands. I love the lather. It feels like it's working. Now, estheticians will tell you, you don't need the lather. I don't know, I don't know, honey, don't stop me. I'm addicted to the lather. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now you really don't wanna open your eyes on this step because this will burn. So I'm gonna wash this off. Okay, so I feel confident that the makeup is gone. I know this is not correct, but listen, it works for me, okay? I washed my face a third time with a low benzoyl peroxide. This clean and clear acne cleanser, it's 10% benzoyl peroxide. Now, I know people gonna be mad, but I, this is what I do. People don't like benzoyl peroxide, I do, it works for me. I mean, masks right now, I'm having to wear the mask is, is breaking me out a lot in this area, but this right here, this shh right here is good. I put a little bit on my hand, and then while my face is still wet from my previous two cleanses. But the other one is just melting away the makeup, so I don't really feel like that counts. I just like to do that second wash to really make sure 
it's all gone. And this one I feel is like a treatment for my skin. I just like it because it's got that active ingredient, benzoyl peroxide. I know some people like salicylic acid. I find that to be way too drying. I haven't used that since high school. But baby, this benzoyl peroxide, okay. Let me tell you, I rock with this. Voila, we're ready for bed. It's like, I'm gonna wash this off. Okay, do you guys remember those um, clean and clear commercials and like all the face washing commercials, probably Neutrogena too, where the girls used to like splash the water on their face to take off the cleanser? You don't, you can't do that at home. You really can't do it at all. That's just for TV. Because you do that, you have a mess behind you, get your hair all messed up. Okay, dry off. We're done with the washing portion, okay? So for people who say I, I, that's too many washing steps, well guess what, we're done. The next step is I do a toner. And I use right now this Thayer's Facial Toner Rose Petal. It's alcohol free. That's important to me. I don't want alcohol on your, you don't want alcohol on your face, guys. Uh -oh, that's very dry, even if you have oily skin. I read that somewhere. You could thank me later. Or you could read stuff yourself. Got it at a drugstore. Think Walgreens, Dwayne Reed. You know they're the same, Dwayne Reed and Walgreens. Dwayne Reed by Walgreens. And you heard that here first. Use this little toner. And you know you are supposed to use it up. Swipe up, link in bio. That's what they say, and so I do it. I just, I do a lot of what they say. Who are they? I don't know. If you find out who they are, let me know. This is what I do next. After I do the toner, I use an eye cream. It's by Fresh. It says it firms and illuminates. I am added a little firming and illuminating, okay? And just do a little. Now you're supposed to use your non-dominant hand to do your eye, someone told me that. Someone told me that, not they, but someone. Unfortunately, I am using my dominant hand. I am right-handed and I'm using my right hand, but I do use a weaker finger. My middle finger, I didn't mean to, I don't wanna flip you off, but my middle finger is weakest because I don't flip people off. So I use this, bam, on my eyes, and I just stab it. You don't wanna be rubbing and pulling under your eyes. So then I use this, my holy grail. Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiant Serum Complexion Correcting. This serum is my jam. I live and I die by this. When I die, bury me with this. I get so many compliments on my skin when I use this and I secretly have conducted an experiment. When I don't wear it, I don't get as many compliments, but I do wear it. Everybody's like, ooh, your skin, your skin. This right here is my jam. It's really good for dark spots and making your skin radiant. The other thing I tell people all the time is I drink a lot of water and I just, Dab a little bit on my face. And I rub it in, and I rub it in. Let it settle into your skin. Let it become one with you, become one with the serum. I've been using this serum for years. I got a sample at Sephora. They be getting me with the dang samples. But anyway, this right here, after that, I was like, let me go ahead and get something else in that same line. So I just like, I don't know, a month ago, maybe, started using this Caudalie Vino Perfect. Brightening Glycolic Night Cream. Dab a little bit. And I just feel like it makes me so radiant. It makes my skin feel so supple. Okay, so that's it. That's it, y'all. That is my nighttime skincare routine. Make sure you check out Saturday Night Live. You've heard of it? Check it out. Check it out sometime. That's where I'll be most Saturdays. Um, but not tonight. Tonight I'm going to bed. Bye, guys.